It's a lovely piece. Do you think on this one's good? And we'll take this old brush. I have a canvas. Yeah. Um, I'm an artist. Yeah. I was wondering if you could give me a quick quote. Um, what do you think of Man on Stump? Hello there, um, I'm Joe, an artist, artist Latastic. Is this alright, a canvas? No! No! Brace for art, uh, again. I'm going to make one million pounds today, and I'm going to show you how. Now, we, we're going we're gonna to do it now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> art. It's everywhere we go. London, buildings, streets, even in your own home. Um, this is an original artiste letastique. I did this bad boy after a couple of lemonades, but it's magnificent. Swoosh! Hello! But I recently created my... S but I recently created my second masterpiece they call... But on Earl. It's absolutely exquisite. Well, actually I called it that because it... Well, it's a boat on an hill. Now that was all part of a brilliant video with Taz. Thank you, Taz, for letting me actually be a part of that with my painting skills. And that was all part of Stand Up To Cancer. It was amazing. The picture actually sold. It sold for £150 sterling. Um, now if I paint another painting just thick... Getting nervous because I'm an artist and there's lots of pressure in the artistic world. Now if I paint another artistic pile of beautiness for just 6,666.66666 times better than my second painting, Boat on Ill, then that will equal an average estimate income of one million pounds tax free. Is it? That's not tax free, is it? I better have to pay VAT. 12 minus 5. Equals seven. I'll just take cash in hand. Yeet! The time is currently 7.07 a.m. I have no idea why I read it like that. I think it's because through an artist's eye, you see... Okay, I'll get on with the video. I am now going to paint a painting. Painting called Madison. I'm now going to paint a painting and go to the London National Art Gallery and sell it for one million pounds. Sounds weird now, I've said it out loud. Um, I'm gonna make a million pounds a day. I'm gonna buy my Lamborghini now. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, Hello. there it is. You're missing out on things like this. Before you paint a painting, you need something to paint the painting on, and I'm going to paint my painting on a massive canvas. Right, the, the thing is, you think this is bad news, you think... Fantastic, go on. It looks bigger on Amazon, alright? I have ordered a bigger one, don't worry, it, sh it should be coming very shortly. But in the meantime, we can practice on this, and also the other ones that it comes with. Future Joe Editing, this is for practicing. So don't put that bit in about um, the fact that you've ordered the wrong size. You idiot! Let's get practicing. I'm gonna leave that in, aren't I? Gravity. These are acrylics. I thought that was a nail set. You know if you ever go to someone's house and they've got fancy pictures up on the wall? They might be fancy, they might not be. They have like three up on the wall like that and it's like, it's one picture but it's separated and it looks really cool. I'm gonna do that with four and I'm thinking a nice, Orange, red sky. Gravity! I'm sorry if you've been avid TikToker and all you've heard is gravity, but I love TikTok. Gravity! Ow! Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Ooh! Okay, this is red. This is size. Slough angle. Oh, no. Well, that's alright. It's a memory, isn't it? It's not going. Nice. Oh! <gasps> My laptop. It's like It's definitely drying because my um, finger stuck to it. Oh my god, yes! Oh, that looks sick! That, I'm really happy with that. Now if I can just... I, I took my jeans off, it was getting too hot. If I could do that three more, do I do them all the same? Imagine if I brought this into the art gallery. Could you buy this for one million pounds, please? I'm sure I didn't even get like a C or a in art as well. At least I know now what I'm getting everyone for Christmas. 
Repentance. Gravity. Gravity. Oh. Stop looking at it. I have to catch it, Finn. That is sick. Is this a painting channel? Absolute beauties. This is amazing. So I think I'm going to put some animals in each one and maybe a little lake that crosses over here. But they aren't dry yet, so... Um... <laughs> It's blown paint off of the canvas onto my carpet, so um, it's all memory. Now I'm gonna draw on my animals. Oh, on a lake, I need a lake. <laughs> now I'm gonna add the animals in, and you will all see the finished practice canvases in just a more. I don't know what animal that is. I think I've drawn a T Rex. It's got two little arms underneath the head. Look, um, I mean, it looks cool, I guess. Oh, I'll do a bird. Two birds later. I think I've just done the McDonald's logos in the sky. It's got paint on the front. Oh, at least I'll have a very creative camera at Winter in the City. Social City Winter Edition. Um, let's do a tree. Yes. By the way, I love what Mr. Beast is doing with planting a tree for every dollar. The amount of people that have done that is absolutely crazy. I'm just going to put the sun in there and call it a day. Bloop. Okay. It's like mustard in it. I could have used mustard. Ooh, I hate mustard. Ooh. Okay, all right, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. It started off great, and I think when you add, when you, I think my problem is when I start adding detail, it goes a bit. It looks a bit. Sh I should have just left him at the desert stage. This would have looked good if I did the half of the sun and the other two, but instead I did what looks like. It's meant to be a tree, but I, I don't know what that looks like. T-Rex. Why is the yellow in the lake? Word on the street is that the concierge now has the actual sized canvas. We're gonna go grab that and just crack straight into it as we paint one million pounds worth of painting. I'm so sorry, Leonardo DiCaprio's son. Swoosh. Right, I've got it. Uh, it's a bit big. Let me just... This is the size of the canvas that I will be bringing into the National Art Gallery. But what would a blank canvas be without some paintbrushes? This is my palette. Oh my god, it's literally a palette! Hi, are we ready to learn today? That's the biggest one, and this is the canvas. Okay, they are a bit small, this might take some time. I'm getting to what? Okay, here we go. I'm ready to paint. That's the size of the brush I need. Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you to the 29th Joy of Painting series. A touch of the Lizarin Crimson. And we'll take this old brush and just make little X's, little crisscross strokes. Doesn't take too long when you're using a brush that's two inches wide. Get the water, Bob. Hold on, hold on. We'll just apply a little bit of the phthalo blue. Yes! Ooh, these are fancy. <gasps> that's so soft. Oh, that's so nice. Right, let's keep painting. Oh, it smells quite nice, actually. Oh, it smells, to it smells toxic. It doesn't have a little stringer cloud in there. Okay. <gasps> oh! Oh, it's gone. Oh, no. We'll start in the light area, which is the pink, and we'll blend it all together. Looks like my hair when I was in year nine. Show you get your mum in. Show your parents say, Go on, get your mum or dad in. Have to say, come have a look at this. He's drawing something amazing. That's all there is to it. Anybody can put a little masterpiece on canvas. It doesn't look the same, Bob! What a shot! Purple rain! That looks so satisfying. I don't even know what I'm painting yet. There's little tiny pubes all over my... Look, they're everywhere! But that's part of the blue uh, beach. Hmm, I'm a bit concerned about it. I'll turn them into mountains, right? Bear with. Let's get us... Hmm, fan brush. We'll use a fan brush. I don't have the tools that he has, so... Let's just put some mountains in it. It looks like a campsite. I'm gonna do a bridge now which goes up to the mountains. Oh, yes. 
Okay, I'm going to turn this into a bench. It's going to be a bench now. Why is it going to be a bench? Ow. That's going to be a stump and someone's going to be sitting on the stump with the legs hanging down there looking into the distance. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, let's do some mountains. Oh, it looks like mayonnaise. See, the thing I've forgotten about is the colours mix. Oh, that looks quite good on camera. Uh, on camera, it looks, yeah, I mean, it looks good in real life. Just get your palette and just get a bit of the white. Dip it in with a bit of the blue, mix it around. And I'm going to add some friendly mountains here. Maybe he needs a friend. There's his friend. Oh, I'm gonna, I need to put a man on this stump, don't I? That's the name of this picture. Man on stump. It's going to be a silhouette of a man. You know I'm good with my silhouettes. I don't know what animal that is. I think I've drawn a T-Rex. He's going to be looking at the mountains. Oh no, he's facing the wrong way. Looks like an octopus, man. Way, whoa. Does that look like something else between his legs? Finish! Yes! <laughs> you can see through his face. Okay, well, time flies when you're painting a masterpiece. I want to keep it a bit private because obviously I'm working around for a million pounds. So I'm going to cover it up. Hang on. You can just use any bed sheet at home if you do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I am an artist. Oh, yes, legend. Thank you, huh? Have a good day. Hello. So uh, this is my painting. Okay. Or painting. <laughs> I actually am very excited to see. Yeah. That. Well, how, 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 don't touch it. It's a million pounds. Okay. Million pounds. Yeah. You get a million for it. Yes. I, I showed it to the taxi man. It was in the boot, and I wasn't recording. You came off a bit, and he went, "Oh my goodness." <laughs> yeah. This fin is man on. Ooh. Oh, it's the wrong way round. It's man on stump. <laughs> okay. Is. Look at it! So this is like part two of Boat on Hill. Okay, nice bit of texture on the water. Not really sure what's going on here. Are these mountains or tents? Red sky at night. Shepherd's, Shepherd's pie. Delight. delight. <laughs> okay. okay. Now I don't know anyone with hair like that. That just looks quite wrong. I know, it's... it's my... <laughs> <laughs> if it was just the mountains, I reckon that would be better than man. On stump. You could have done boat on the right, well, it's not, you're not a oh, little critique, you know what I mean, so. Art! Ah, first problem. Is this all right, a canvas? No! No! no. Right. <laughs> We're never going to get this in an art gallery, Finn. So the National Gallery is the first gallery, and it is a no-go jo no To the next one. But look at it, why wouldn't you want to store that? I don't. It looks like I've nabbed it from the gallery. Oh no, it doesn't. I'm holding a million pounds. Don't say it too loud. See, that's what it's meant to look like. You know when you draw people like at the beach. Hello, I am an artist. It's good. So they are pockets on the top. Yes. Just to let you know yeah. there. So that's what it's meant to look like. She's not a professional artiste latastique. Come on. I feel like I'm at a job interview. Oh, buddy, you're right. oh, we have got one bag. Yeah, oh no! Hmm. Okay, so we've come to a part of the gallery now which is called the cloak room, and I think this is this is where they're gonna accept it. Come on. I'll just to let you know before we enter the cloak room, this is a very private and upper class art gallery, so I have had to disguise the critique. You won't notice though. Hello, you're alright. Um I've got a canvas. Yeah. How much do you think this is worth? Oh, is that, oh, is that it is a million pounds, thank you very much. Uh, no, I've, I've qualified, so I'm an art profession. Okay. Yeah. So are you just looking at, like, people... Just a bit of research, yeah. It's just good to get some inspiration and stuff yeah. for my next piece, because that's just my third. Okay. Did you just say that you're an art professional and that you've qualified? Yeah. And that this is your third piece? That would be my third, yeah. That was... Re I, I believe that, I think. Oh! 
think anyone's actually paid for this. It's a sick new exhibition I've heard about. It's cool, it's love it. Mine's the only piece in there at the moment, it's just laying there on the floor. So I think we've got a sale. Let's go have a look at the competition, if there is any. Mine is quite a contemporary piece. Why is it contemporary? Um, because it's mod it's modern. Welcome to art. Now the good thing is, they may have taken my canvas in, I think they're assessing the price, but I actually have a picture of it. These aren't contemporary. These are all people's heads. I think it would look good next to Lord John Russell. William Gilbert, what a boss. Oh, Bobby's Con Blinkington. You just um, you use your imagination, it's there, I think that, and then zoom back out, look at the, yeah. Mine would actually be this big. If this was the spot we would take when, if they buy it, it would actually be there, we'd take a bit of room. I don't think they'd put it there next to Maybe above ones. them? I feel like it's not really the same style. Above them, yeah, it could be above them. It's a lovely piece. Do you think, on this one's good? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> what? Oh, that was quick. If this one was to suit in this museum here. Oh definitely. Did you do it today? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's still drying. Okay. So would you think, what, like there? <laughs> Place it in or between these, yeah. They'd be like, wow. Okay. What do you think is happening in um, the centre there? Meant he's to climbed up a tree. Yes, well he's sat on a stump. It's called Man on Stump. Mm -hmm. I'll just zoom in a bit to the face. Is it you? The gallery's going to buy it, they're going to pay it. It's going to be... Um. Do you want me to give you a price to say and then we'll just pretend you've said it? Yeah. One million pounds. And how much do you think this is worth? About a million. Ten. <laughs> Ten million, wow, kind of there. But bear in mind it is actually this big. I had to leave it in the cloakroom, yeah. Thanks, oh, success. The more I look at it. That's what you've got to Oh, he's laughing at. The more I think it's worth more. Okay, so I think we successfully sold it to this art gallery. They work here. Let's go to the next. We're going to see if we can get the highest bidder. The highest bidder? Yeah. What did they say it was worth? A million and ten. So we've got to beat a million and ten? Yeah. Hmm. Did you have a look at the picture? Do you like it? No, mm, concerned. It's unique. It's unique. How much do you think? Portrait of someone. Uh, it's called Man on Stump. He's just out enjoying the countryside. I do like the countryside. Yeah, million? A million pounds. So we've got one, it's called Castle Fine Art. I've looked at the images and it just looks so fine, obviously. That's a bit of fine art. Exactly, so we're gonna go in there, sell it, and we'll be done. It does look, there's a bit of a theme going on in their shop already. What's the theme? It looks really good. It's bright. How are you doing? I have a canvas. Yeah. Um, I'm an artist. I was wondering if you could give me a quick quote. Just from your own personal view, um, what do you think of Man on Stump? <laughs> I like it. Yeah? Yeah. What do you like about it? Um, good stump? Yeah. Good mountains? Good mountains. Good mountains? Yeah. He's got a see through face. And we don't really see that much in the art world. Translucent faces and things. I'm just looking at the wall and the other pictures here. Yeah. Um, I think it'd work really well. If Sadly, we don't get to make those decisions. Oh, okay. No, 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 it's our head office. Head so, office. But if you want to speak to them, I'd, I'd love to. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to. Thanks. I think oh, I've done this one as well. That was my second piece. Oh, Starting there you go. Cheers, guys. Have a good You're day. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Huh. They said yes. They said yes. They said yes. Go to ring head office. And guess what? The card is of my second piece. So they're already aware of my work fin. What do you mean they said yes? They said yeah, we'd love to have it. No, they didn't. They did? They must have thought, because obviously they couldn't see you, they just thought, they were like, where's guy? the camera? And they're like, I've just watched it going, all right, how are you doing? <laughs> Fancy buying this? <laughs> they didn't give me a price though. <laughs> That's, so we'll just need to ring head office and then we'll sell it. If not, I can put it on my wall. I'll buy it for a million. Then who's laughing? Probably me. Your bank account. Beep. It hasn't been successfully sold yet, but I'm going to go home and I'm going to ring head office and I'm going to send him an email of Man on Stump and we're going to find out exactly when they can transfer a million pound. It doesn't really happen like that, Let's does do it. it. Perfect.
internet extension is unavailable. Please leave your message after the tone. Hello there, um, I'm Joe, an artist, artiste latastique, and when I popped in a store today, it was a lovely store, and they mentioned yourself. Uh, I'm just wondering if it's possible to get a quote for my portrait I have painted, um, and how much it would be just to pop it in store and see if anyone wants to buy it um, for a million pounds. So uh, let me know, uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Goodbye. It's all about the charm. By the time I've edited this video, you'll know, well, I'll show you how much uh, they bought it for. You're not going to believe this, they called back uh, with the news that I should never call them again. Um, that call probably cost them a good 12p. If you'd have it for free, give it a small thumbs up and do you know what? I'll see you next time. Who kn I'm so sorry again, Leonardo DiCaprio's son. Is that an actor, Leonardo DiCaprio? Mona Lisa. Who paints it? Leonardo da Vinci. I'll see you next time. Huh?